Okay guys, so this is the intro to the video because I didn't really make an intro, I just started. Basically, as always, I'm going to be leaving links to resources, places you could donate, petitions you could sign to help the Black Lives Matter um, movement. Um, But yeah, so enjoy my bookshelf tour. Also, here's a warning, my room is a mess, so please excuse that. Guys, yeah, so here's an overview of my shelves. My room is kind of a mess, so we're just gonna ignore the fact. But these are all my books. So we're gonna start over here and then we're just gonna slowly go down. So let's just start over there. So over here for me and my mom. Yeah, that was like when we went to Longhorn on my birthday. Here I have a Funko Pop of Eleven. I love it so cute. I don't know who Eleven is. It's a character from Stranger Things and it's her in her burger t-shirt and eating ice cream which is from the first episode of season one. Then here are a stack of books. Here I have The Shining by Stephen King, The Book Thief and Carry On. I just put these here because I feel like they match a theme or something. And then I just put it there because it kind of matches <laughs> that brown theme. So yeah. Moving on over here, I have some purple books. I have The Stars and the Blackness Between Them, Girls of Paper and Fire, and then How to Save a Life. Here I have this little dude. Here I have some brown books like Tales of Desperokes and two copies of A Long Walk to Water. Then I have With the Fire and High. I have the Stars and Color of Af. And then I have some red books. It's kind of like a color scheme up here. Here we go into my teal books. We have Gentleman's Guide to Face and Virtue. We have Fangirl. And then over here we have The One and Only Ivan. Call Me By Your Name. My Plain Jane. So those are like a few books i don't really organize it by genre i just organize them by what i think is aesthetically pleasing here i have all my white books these are mostly contemporaries but they're not all contemporaries here i put bill nye because he just matches the color scheme i think he matches it really well up here we have harry that's like a little piggy bank so we have um dirty white books black and like just white paperbacks here we have the other bowling girl other books like if i stay the Omnivore's Dilemma, and just, like, contemporaries. Over here is where I'm starting to try to collect my Shadowhunter shelf. So, I have two Shadowhunter books here. I have not started the series, and a lot of people blob about it on BookTube being, like, one of the best series ever. So I do want to start it soon. But I have the first book in the whole series, which is City of Bones. So I do plan on starting it soon. I also have Dear Martin here and 13 Reasons Why. I just put books with black spines here. I also have Lady Midnight because I got it for cheap. Here's kind of like my hardcovers. Not all my hardcovers, but like new recent hardcovers. I got Strange the Dreamer by Lady Taylor. Here I have The Last Magician. I want to read this soon, but it's not on my TBR yet, so yeah. Here's a contemporary, which is called... I think this is um, an adult contemporary, which is 300 Sandwiches. I have a graphic novel here by Raina Telgemeier. Oh, by Raina Telgemeier, it's called Ghosts. I love this graphic novel so much. This is a pig from my grandpa. One of my prized possessions because he passed away and it just means a lot to me. The Funko Pop that fell is this dude named Will Smith. This is Will Smith. I don't know what character that is. I know it's from a Netflix show called Neon Lights or something. Now we're moving on over here. Um, this is kind of my series shelf. We have Mike from <laughs> Stranger Things. And uh, we have some hardcovers right here. I don't know. I didn't really organize this thus well. But I have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This is the book of the month edition. We're not going to talk about the book of the month anymore because they have disappointed me. Then I have Is You Okay by Glozell Green, which is an autobiography. Here's my Harry Potter books. Um, I have two copies of The Sorcerer's Stone. I also have, I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So yeah. Um, I just keep those up there. This dude is from Fantastic Beasts. I forgot his name, but I know he's from Fantastic Beasts. Here's my hardcover um, set of Twilight series. You're probably wondering where New Moon is. Well, New Moon is, I'm currently reading it, so that's why it's not on here. And then here is um, even this little short novella. But this is A Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which is um, a character that's introduced in the Eclipse book. And then here is a um, a backstory of Mother Gothel, which is called Mother Knows Best by Serena Valentino. So I just keep that up there. Here I have some magnetic bookmarks and then just other Barnes & Noble bookmarks. Here I have one of my favorite books of all time, which is called The Similar. I talked about this a lot. 
look at all these tabs like i just love this book so much and i definitely want to reread it but um we'll see if i end up doing that because i never really reread books unless they're graphic novels or just short middle grade but um if i do read that that'll be my first time rereading a book here i have on the come up and the hate you give by angie thomas here i have the october list by jeffrey deaver um it's a really unique book let's just say that and then i have the boy in the striped pajama you don't really see those two books because i have that there over here is kind of i don't even know how to describe this bookshelf i just organized it by color so this bookshelf basically just has brown and black and like gold type this funko um is pogo from the umbrella academy it's cute i love it so here are the books on this shelf. I got this book from Barnes & Noble to hardcover. Um, it's called I Have No Secrets by Penny Jolson. I've tried reading this so many times, I just never could get into it. So I don't know when I'll read that, to be honest. There's Someone in Your House, which is a thriller. One of my favorite classics, To Kill a Mockingbird, The K, the first book that ever made me cry. Another classics, but this is actually not mine. This is Tuesdays with Maury um, by Mitch Album. This is my aunt's copy. She still hasn't came to pick it up, but she just left it here. This my mom has recommended for me to read this book, which is called I'm Legend. The movie has Will Smith in it, and my mom's like, it's so good, I have to read it, but I just never got around to reading it. So um, I'm still waiting for a time that I'm going to do that. Here I have the book of the month edition of The Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I do want to read this because a lot of people really like it, but not on my plan so far. And then here's a collection of poems, which is called Kettle Bottom by Diane Gilliam Fisher. So that's that shelf. So on this shelf, I just, again, did it by color. Here are three graphic novels on The Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Here I have the third book in a the Divergent trilogy. Then I have A New Model by Ashley Graham, um, which is an autobiography. I love this book so much. Here we have some purple books. I have Drama by Rena Telgamir, which is a graphic novel. I love this graphic novel. It's cute. It has some LGBTQ in it, and I just love it so much. I also have some Dork Diaries. Um, it's the book series that I grew up on. Um, I used to have the whole collection, but I gave it away to my library. I don't know why. Here are some Diary Wimpy Kid books. I love Diary Wimpy Kid. This here, I think this is a thriller. It's called um, Take It Out by Helen Knob. And then I also have this book, which is the Diary Wimpy Kid movie diary. I love it because it basically just goes through the process. Of making the movie i already read this but i definitely want to reread this because i'm very interested the last book on the shelf is um scary stories to tell in the dark i hated this book i thought it was going to be scary but what did i expect so here's my last shelf on this side um this shelf is really random here i have two mass market paperbacks um that i included in my haul but i just don't know where to put them so for right now they're just chilling up here here are two boxes for the book of the month um which was the subscription i used to have we're not gonna talk about them. Here I have a Do Your Own Dork Diary, the OMG All About Me Dork Diaries thing. Uh, yeah, I loved this when I was little. I actually had one before this, but I lost it. So um, my mom ended up buying me a new one because I was really sad about that. Here is a graphic novel. I think this is a manga, but um, if you know me, I do not really read manga. I like graphic novels better, but I got this. Um, it's part, I think this is volume two, so I kind of need to get volume one first. Here we have a cookbook. Um, I don't really cook. I used to, like I tabbed a few recipes that I would love to cook. I have a few more cookbooks. I have this um, Weight Watchers cookbook. I also have this chocolate cake cookbook. And lastly, I have a cream cheese, like so. That's really sweet. Then I have a few picture books. This one which is called, it's called Tales of Famous Animals. This, I have the Pioneer Girl. I've read this uh, picture book quite a few times. Also here, one of my favorite of all time childhood books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I love this book so much. And then here I have the Library of Basara, which I did read in my Read a Ton of Blue books Bookathon, hosted by Life Goofer, so you could check that reading vlog out so this is um the i put a lot of green books here 
um but they're not all green so i just i don't know how i organized this shelf to be honest i just put a bunch of random ones so first of all up here we have a classic which is little woman uh, here are two new books i have which is the illumination by andrew o'hagan just a few books there i have a contemporary here the permanent record by mary h king toy this dust jacket really bothers me because it's just like it's really floppy and it's just i just hate it i wish it was like a normal paper i have hidden bodies by caroline kepnes which is the second book um to you i don't know if it's a duology or trilogy but they're coming out with a third season so i'm assuming it's going to be a trilogy i have a book in a series called beautiful redemption i think this is from the series beautiful creatures i think this is the last book in the series yeah so i think it's four books in the series so i might give that series a try but i don't even know here's the second book in the diversion trilogy which is called insurgent and then a middle grade classic star girl okay guys here is my last shelf so here's all the books that I don't want to display on my shelves, but I still want to keep. These books I've had for a long period of time and they just sticked with me. So we're going to start over here. I have this is My Secret War. Basically, it's like a journal that follows this girl in World War II. I read it. It was interesting. I really, really loved it. I definitely want to reread it though because it was interesting, but I was rushing because I was doing a um, read seven books in seven days challenge um so yeah but that was really good i have a few books here i've reread because of the because of what dixie so many times i have this little book of spacecraft um basically just goes through that i've never read this i've never been interested in it but i just don't have the guts to get rid of it uh this is the book the kind of friends we used to be this is actually a a duology um the first book is called the secret language of girls i loved that book when i was a kid um and i never got around to reading the second book here i have a minecraft thing i don't even know why i have this because i don't even play minecraft but this is a minecraft handbook construction handbook i have one book from the series of unfortunate events i used to love this series when i was little like i stopped i stopped at book seven though because it was so predictable like every book you obviously knew what was gonna happen it was just so predictable and it got to the point that it was so predictable that i just it, it was not enjoyable anymore um so i decided not to finish the whole series but i might try to finish the whole series just to have fun with it i think i would if anything i would pick up the audiobook here is a journal i have the nutcracker from penguin um yeah i don't think I'm gonna read this anytime soon. I just got it because I liked it. Here is the book Leah Dives In um, by Lisa Yi, which is an American Girl doll story. I got this with my American Girl doll when I was like little, so I decided to keep the book, but I don't know. It's the Disney's Yearbook of 1989, which basically just goes over through. It's just a bunch of cute stories. One of my favorite books when I was little is I Like Me. It is such a cute, but it's such a short, but yet cute. Um, little kids book it just it's just means so much to me it's about loving yourself no matter what and i just love this book so much and it's so short so it's definitely something you could read in two minutes i just love it so that is my bookshelf tour i have a lot of books and i obviously plan on collecting more throughout the years because i just love books and yeah so if this was boring i'm sorry honestly it was just me talking about all the books i have on my shelves but Thanks for watching.